Hey, how's everyone doing today? Uh, I'm Jason from Jason's Tech Talk, and I'm glad you all showed up today to watch this little video. Now, this one's going to be about moving your overclock from your Ryzen Master to your BIOS. Um, now, if you've if you've never done your overclock into your Ryzen Master, uh, I have a video about that. I'll put the link up above. Um, and once you once you get your overclock stable and set, and you want to move it into your BIOS, uh, this is how you'll do it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is load up Ryzen Master, uh, and it's going to load up into your Home tab, which is just going to be uh, you can't change anything in your Home tab. Um, it just gives you all your information, your temperatures, peak speed, and everything. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to go down to your uh, overclock. Uh, which, if I'm not mistaken, mine was in game mode. I say that's where I saved it, uh, and it was at 4,200 um, all all cores, and I had a 1.27 uh, peak voltage. Now, actually, I saw I had it one set at 1.3, but that's because I'm not using this overclock right now. I actually have mine set in the BIOS, uh, but I, I will tell you, in the BIOS, I'm running 1.275. Um, once you get that information written down. All you have to do is close out your Ryzen Master, restart your computer, and we will jump into the BIOS. All right, I'm waiting for my computer to reboot, and as soon as you see the the ASRock screen come up, you just gently tap on Delete until it beeps and that'll let you into your BIOS. Or if you're deaf like me and doesn't hear it beep and it just goes straight into your BIOS. But the first screen you come up with is going to be your main screen. It's going to show your uh, version of your uh, UEFI which is the B450M Pro 4. Um, it has your uh, BIOS revision which mine's the P3.60. Uh, got the Ryzen 536 100, the 6 core processor uh, I'm running at 4200 megahertz and I have two sticks of DDR4 3200 RAM at uh, 8 megabytes a piece so it's 16 gigs of DDR4 uh, running in slot uh, A2 and B2, uh, which is the the slots you want those running in, not one and two like you used to. Uh, with AMD, it's the second and fourth slot. Uh, if you go into OC Tweaker, um, if you have never set, uh, if you've never went into your advanced tab and went into your overclocking. Um, settings and accepted the overclocking then you can do your overclock here it's just a simple overclock you set it uh, it's going to be set to auto you're going to set it to manual enter in all of your variables here which uh, I would run in 4200 uh, my voltage is 1.275 uh, my socks 1.1 uh, my XMP profile is the 2.0 profile 1. Uh, I'm running a DDR4 3200. Um, and then I just have auto set for the rest of it. Um, but now if you have, have have went into your advanced tab and accepted the terms for your overclocking, then this screen will not work for you. You will have to go into your advanced screen. Um, go in, go down to AMD overclocking. Um, don't decline it like I did by accident. Accept it. And then you're going to go into your manual uh, CPU overclocking. Um, and that's where you're going to put in the same information I just showed you for, which is uh, 4200 megahertz uh, CPU voltage, uh, 1.275 just without the point. Um, uh, that's one thing you'll find in, uh, in the advanced tab um, they don't use points you just use whole variables um, and we've got uh, core control on auto and the SMT on auto um, 
Now I did go in and I have done some um, overclocking on my RAM and I'm not going to go through all of all of that but this is also where you would go in and overclock your RAM. Uh, again if you have not uh, been into this before don't come into it unless you have to because you can do all do it you can do it all from the OC tweaker screen if you've never came into this um, part of your BIOS. Uh, you can set your infinity um, fabric and divider uh, just have mine set to auto. Um, precision boost override. If you wanted to do a precision boost override, you can come in here and set that. Of course, I have mine disabled uh, because I'm running on an all core overclock. Uh, you can come in and set your sock voltage, um, uh, your uncore voltage, um, your VDDP voltage. I uh, just have mine set on auto. Uh, and I believe the VDDG voltage is on auto also. And once you once you get all that set, just go into exit, hit save changes, and it'll reboot your computer into your overclock. Um, now I'm going to just discard changes and exit, but let's say I hit saved. This is basically what you're going to see. It's going to restart the computer, go back to this screen as long as you don't hit delete to go back into your BIOS. And it's going to restart into Windows. And mine starts, once I log it, mine actually goes to another um, monitor for my Windows login but that's pretty much it and you have set your overclock um, once that overclock set um, I would go into uh, CPU ID. Just open that up. And I would check um, my overclock. See here I've got my 1.2. It says 1.28 but we, we saw we put our voltage in at 1.275. Uh, our overclock, uh, we're at a 4200 megahertz. Now this software it only shows it 4191 uh, some will show it at 4192 if you've got a 4.3 it'll show it at uh, 42 uh, think 90 so it's a little bit off but you basically get the the idea I want to thank everybody for tuning in uh, I hope this video was helpful uh, if it was uh, leave me a comment down below uh, leave a like um, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see your around here again uh, if you have a suggestion for a video just leave it in the comments below everybody have a great day and see you later